Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market and this is going to be my daily forecast for the cryptocurrency market for Wednesday, November 18, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a new service over at Patreon, which is basically a package where you'll get all our um, you get our signal service and you'll get access to our online trading and courses on Fridays and Mondays. So the link is down below. You're welcome to join us there. So let's look at Bitcoin. And this market just can't get a break, to be very honest. We were up around 5-6% today. Absolutely ridiculous. But we have been here before. And at this point, I'm not really looking up for a break towards the 15 week average at this point in order to enter the market. I am looking for this double top here, which probably will probably will, you know, we, uh, will occur. At this point, we are nearing, we have basically broken these previous highs. The only thing that is left are the old time highs here at, um, at 19,800 or 19,000 or 20,200. When we get there, there is going to be selling. People will start to sell this, and uh, this is already significantly um, overbought. We can see that we are at 84 on the weekly chart. We can see that the CCI is turning flat at this point, and that is not a good sign. MACD is very bullish still, but the stochastic is flat. So the two momentum indicators are flat at this point. So we probably go higher. I would be surprised that we go at this point to the all-time highs at 20,000 or, or at least 19,000. But we are oversold. So if you look over here, when we went to the all-time highs, we were at 97 on the on the weekly chart. So, so there is the room to the upside, um, incredibly enough. So this is a... a probably a major selling opportunity when we get to these these levels here because you can just see how far we fell we fell all the way down towards the 50 moving average back in 2017 and 2018 um, and we didn't basically stop until we went all the way down to the 200 moving average so we went from 20,000 all the way down to 3,190 that is absolutely a massive fall and basically a fantastic trade for, for, uh, for short sellers. So uh, it's going to be exciting what basically happens in this market. I didn't dream of basically this market rallying this far to the upside without having any break whatsoever. But these technical indicators for the daily chart are still very bullish. They are not showing signs of exhaustion. Uh, not the uh, even though we are overbought, both the CCI, the stochastic, and the MACD are showing um, signs of this market being very bullish. So, at this point, it is absolutely crazy to buy here. That is absolutely ludicrous because, as you can see, what happened the last time people started buying probably up here because I know people did buy up there. We broke all the way down to three thousand and. You do not want to be caught in a trade where you fall nearly, I don't know, 15-70% uh, within uh, a few weeks. That is that is uh, going to be a real <laughs> hurt for your basically your trading account. So that is not a good idea to buy at this level here. Uh, but if we start... Um, if you start declining significantly, then that is a possible short. And last time we fell all the way down towards the 200 moving average. So it is going to be exciting to see what basically happens with Bitcoin. So we look at Ethereum. We can see that we also rallied today. We broke these uh, previous highs and we also broke, we basically got to the top of these highs uh, at the, in September. So at this point, we still have room to the upside. We're only at uh, 67 in the RSI. So we're not even close to, to being, well, we are close to being overbought, but these markets tend to be significantly overbought before they, they break down. So over here, for example, we were at uh, around 73, and we can see basically that the, the CCI was 
fairly gray at this point when we broke down. We are not even gray at this point. So we may go much higher before we go lower in this market. It is impossible to buy here, just to be very honest. Um, if we um, if we break these highs, then we'll probably go higher. But at that point, we'll be overbought and it's just too risky to buy there. We need to a pull back towards the 50 moving average in order to enter this market. And um, yes, that doesn't look like that is going to happen anytime soon. Um, we'll find at least support here around 435. And we'll probably find significant support around this area, which is also right above the 50 moving average around 400 as well. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to go and um, to join our new service over at Patreon. The link is down below. So thank you uh, very much and good luck.